Hey guys, it's Luke the Locksmith here again. Uh, I just want to make this short video. Uh, this is this is the Yale uh, deadbolt, Yale touch deadbolt. Uh, it's a really great little electronic deadbolt. Uh, um, something really cheap and affordable to install in your own home. Uh, replaces the old manual deadbolts, so it's really good um, and a great entry model for anyone who's looking to get into electronic locks in, in, into their homes. It doesn't work off uh, Bluetooth or use their phone. It's just a simple code entry lock. Uh, it's really, really good. Very simple. Um, so a few features of this thing. Uh, we got a key, a key override in case you uh, go away for six months, um, battery goes dead in six months and, and you can't get back in. You still have a key that you can open the door with uh, pretty important stuff really um, and then just to just to give you a quick example uh, it locks with one touch so you press the one button and you can see that the bolt uh, gets driven out by the motor I don't know if you can hear the motor or not but yeah that's basically how to lock it and uh, on the outside it does have an auto locking feature as well if you select it um, on this one I didn't select it uh, but it will automatically lock itself in about 10 seconds after you close the door uh, you can check pick pick the time and and, and whether you want that to work or not uh, some people find it annoying because it, it doesn't operate uh, solely when the doors close it will also operate when the door is open as well uh, so just another little tip there as well. Um, it's really simple to open for me. I've just set the code as uh, R1, 2, 3, 4 and then you press the star button and you can see the bolt gets retracted. No worries, no problems. Uh, it has, uh, it can, it does make some noise but you can also turn it off. The, the, the beeping uh, can be, can be, inside. it can go in silent mode. Uh, it's really good that way. Another good feature of it. Um, it has 10 user codes that you can program into it. So meaning you can have 10 different people using 10 different codes uh, and you can just deactivate the code at a certain time or or when, when that person's, when you don't want to give that person access anymore, uh, like a gardener or a house cleaner, uh, you want them to come in on a, on a Saturday or, or, or Monday or whatever, and you can just set them up a new code on, on Monday morning uh, and then when you come home later to that day you can just delete that code and that person no longer has access to your home a uh, really good um, uh, feature um, that's basically about it I'll show you the back side of it too so it just has a little turn snip on the back side which uh, throws the bolt and retracts it uh, yeah uh, the batteries are in underneath this black cover it takes uh, four tr double-A batteries, uh, this one. Um, it's an excellent little product. Uh, I highly recommend it if you're looking for a new electronic lock, uh, especially if you've got a manual deadbolt, uh, when I say manual deadbolt, you know I, mean? I mean a deadbolt that you use a key with, uh, and you're looking to maybe get a electronic one, uh, this one is really good. It's well priced at around about $300, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, compared to some of the other ones out in the market which are a little bit more than 300 bucks so it's a it's a little bit cheaper but it's not too cheap there there are some really cheap ones but I don't don't recommend them uh, I think they have some security flaws in them in the in the design and the mechanics and just some of the inner workings seems to be a bit frail um, yeah that's all I wanted to say today so uh, I'll make some more videos on how to change the code and and how to set up all the other features of it. But for right now, I think that'll do. Uh, if you like this video, you can um, subscribe to me. That'd be excellent. Uh, like the video as well. That's another awesome thing you can do. Um, or you can also check me out on Facebook where you can actually go and buy this lock from me. So uh, I'll, I'll add the link in my Facebook, in the YouTube comments. Uh, and yeah, so um, thank you very much for listening to me and you have a good one. See ya.